Have a good rest of the summer? I did. Yeah. I am. I'm happy. Yeah, it's still going. Anthony Josh. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Brian. Brian. What's going on, brother? Steve. Brian. 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 Everybody. John. John. What's up, brother? Marissa. Hey. High five. Look at that cool oh. tripod there, man. Good to see you guys. Good to see you guys. Oh. Cool tripod. Thank you, guys. That was hot. <laughs> Just handshake and head call. And see. Man, that's it. So what has been the craziest Star thing Rangers? about the splash? Yeah, Green Ranger. The, the what? The craziest thing to see this reunion. What has been your, I mean, it's what is awesome. it like? It's an well, epic, how do you describe it? The epic college, high school mashup reunion. That's what we were saying. It's it's for, for it's a high school reunion for kids who didn't get to go to high school. <laughs> we were feeling like that at brunch. We hadn't seen each other in a while, X amount of years. And it's just, it's just like picking up times yeah it's a lot of fun it's awesome a lot of fun not so far we, we haven't really we've only been here for but a few just hours a little bit, but, yeah. but, it's but so far so good catching up it's awesome yeah <laughs> usually the question is when you have a show do you ever expect it getting this big well now it's so far down the road i guess the question now has to be did you ever expect it to come back in this way <laughs> yeah i mean i i think it's awesome i mean people continue to talk about it even when it stopped you know like they love the show they always wanted it to come back and uh, that's why it's cool we're having Splat. Like the fans did that. Like they made it actually come back. They went online going, we want to see this. We want, we love this show. So we went from 90s or all that, and now we have the Splat. So I think that's awesome. And, and it's, uh, I don't know, I'm so grateful. I think we all are to, to be having something talked about 20 years later, right? Like you really don't realize when you're doing it, because you're a kid. Like we were, you know, in our teens. Uh, you didn't realize how special it was, and now you see that, and now it's coming back, and it's it's a pretty pretty awesome thing. Yeah, I'd rather that than they say, I hate that show. <laughs> I hated those guys. You get a little bit of that, but more, more of the other thing. I liked everyone but you, Josh. <laughs> Lori's my favorite. Okay, fine. Their kids are so honest. You know I mean? They were just so honest. It was awesome. Yeah, being that you guys were so young, like, what was it like learning about like comedic timing and having like all those different sketches to work with, you mm. know, back, you know, when you guys were doing all that? I mean, the, the timing was there. It was kind of like a, yeah. a magical thing. Like, you know, they just cast it really well, and uh, we worked, you. we worked good, <laughs> and we just worked well off each other. Like, you know how we are right now. I mean, that's just how it was on set. Like, you, you can see it, and when you have a great cast. And you can see it on screen. You know, we, we were like that off screen too. Well. It really yeah. was. It, everyone was really friendly and fun, and it felt like a family. And yeah. so I feel like it, it thrived in that world where mm -hmm. the, there was all, everyone had their own individual timing, but then the timing of the group developed. But it, it did develop pretty quickly. You know, maybe we, we hit our stride pretty quick. Yeah, so it was awesome. And, yeah, so fun. What is the? What do you think? What aspect about all that and acting in that type of sketch comedy show in your in your youth? Did you miss the most, you know, growing up, what, continuing acting or continuing the rest of your life? What was it that you missed the most about that career, I guess? Missed the most about it? Yeah. Like now or, um, I mean, it's still going, so it's not yeah. anything well, we really... Well, was missed. there a takeaway from being in all that? Was there something about You're that saying, show? Are you asking if it was kid acting versus being a grown-up actor? Yeah, was there just oh. something, you know, something different about it that you that you miss or that, that you really hung on to all these days? Mm, no, I feel like it's all a learning experience, man. I'm just happy to be able to enjoy it all. You know, I feel like you learn. We learned so much at that age. It was so much. I mean, it was we, we got it kind of quick. Like the show blew up. We didn't know that the show was gonna do what it did. Like when we went out there, like when we shot the pilot. I mean, I don't know how you felt, but I remember when we shot the pilot. We didn't know the show was gonna be as crazy as it was. You know, and uh, I just dig it. I think it really prepared us for the things that we're doing. Yeah. I will say just like being in, in that profession, like when you're a kid, you can get away with stuff. You can you can get away with not knowing because they're like, oh, well, he's a kid. He's a teenager or whatever. And now as an adult, you can't show up and make those mistakes. So it does because they're like, what's up, what's up with this guy, right? So mm -hmm. it does, I think it prepares you to be a professional, right? Mm -hmm. Because you have a learning curve when you're young. So I, and you, and it's okay to make mistakes and you grow and you grow into those types of things, mm -hmm. right? What's Hopefully it like they're to, not bad, terrible mistakes or bad, too bad. <laughs> to reach an yeah. entire new generation yeah. for people to love all that and a lot of people now can have who grew up with it now their kids are watching all that so I've what is that like? that like on social media it's pretty cool yeah I love it like I get the parents coming up going hey I knew you from the 90s and then the kids are like yeah well I watched the show too it's like we have the whole family now so that's pretty cool we got you, know? you. <laughs> got the whole family come watch my stuff um, <laughs> Pay for the no team. but to but to see it like you said to like transcend generations mm -hmm. it's like that's un yeah. that's unreal it's, it, it's amazing you both uh, shared the screen 
you know, you got, I mean, excuse me, you guys, you know, both had like a lot of skits together. Yeah, what, was the, yeah. what was like your favorite one with both of you? <laughs> you know, we have a classic one. Like a lot of people don't know that, and I'm always telling the story when you're not there. So now you're here, so this is fun. <laughs> I, can't wait to hear, I, can't, I can't wait to hear it. No, Dream Dream Remote was a sketch that Josh oh. had where he was fast that's forward. The that's the pilot. Right. That was the pilot. Right. And it's like he could fast forward his life. You know, his sister was nagging or whatever. He fast forwarded, and so he wanted a pizza delivered to him quickly. And so he called a pizza guy, and that was the first time we actually saw it. He didn't have the braids or anything, but it just said pizza guy, and I just came in like, well, here's your pizza. And then <laughs> That's like, true, I forgot about and that. And they wrote and it then, in. And, and then and it became Good Burger. It became Good Burger after that, you know, it added the wig and everything like that. But to me, that's a, a classic moment because it had Ed, it had Josh in it, you know, and we're both from Chicago too, we're Chicago boys. So yeah, and we, we were two of the yeah. kids that took from Chicago. Uh, yeah. I would just, I'll, I'll like, uh, add on to that like we had a lot of those good burger moments where like i was playing like bernie Tibbetts, which was like the old ah. my old like jewish grandfather character yeah. and i was always yelling at ed that was fun yeah. you know so uh but i Tibbetts. to me anytime he did coach creedon that was my literally my favorite character he ever did and, and i couldn't get through it i would break up every time so. <laughs> we, we had a lot of those moments we were really yeah. lucky how is the atmosphere at Nickelodeon? Because I know you, you're actually back on a show yeah. at Nickelodeon right now. Is it like a family atmosphere? Where you... It still is. It's family. It's like the Wizard of Oz. Like, you coming at the end, like, and you were there, and you were there, and you were there. <laughs> it's awesome, man. Everybody's still there, and it's, it's, it's really cool. You know, it's like these guys, like the writers are like my uncles and, you know, cool cousins, you know? It's awesome. Yeah. Oh, I think the only difference is the social media aspect now. Right. Like that's what the difference is, I think. But, you know, other than that, it still feels like the 90s. Right? <laughs> yeah, you don't want to age yourself with that yeah. the social media yeah. stuff when yeah. we were acting was not. Right, yeah. dude. It wasn't you had to, like, check us out in a magazine. <laughs> right? Yeah. right? Seriously. <laughs> or come to a live taping. That was about it. <laughs> that's so true. So were a lot of your characters based off your personal preferences, like the orange soda thing? Like, do you really love orange soda? No, well, Add you the soda question. Add you the orange soda. No, Dan, he wrote that in there, you know, and uh, it just took off. Like, it, it, it was just, I do, I do, it was written like that. But I T-painted it, and I threw a little ooh, ooh, ooh on it, and it just blew up. You know, now I can't go through. Did you T-painted I did, I T-painted it. <laughs> and now I can't go to drive throughs and order anything else. It's, it's a problem. You know? <laughs> They're like, you're going to have the orange soda. Kel has orange Sorry. Soda. What are you doing? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. It's awesome though, but I, I do it for people. I don't. I'm not upset about it. You know, it's all good. <laughs> and does that happen in real life? If you run into a fan, a fan sees you um, just out or on the street, does someone bring you orange? Yeah, soda? yesterday. Yeah, it's 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 all the time. <laughs> it's, all, it's all all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you both feel like there's a place for sketch comedy? That type, like a type of show that was all that for kids. Do you feel like that could exist and could still thrive in today's atmosphere? Because it seems like the most popular one since you're all that was the second all that. Yeah, I mean, I think it could. you could do it now. I mean, with, with social media and Vine, like you see all the kids from Vine that are doing amazing things. Right. I, I would do it that way. If there were going to be another all of that, you know, I would take a lot of these Vine stars. And some of the together. really, yeah. really yeah. creative internet kids uh -huh. and, and just put them together. Because they do. They create yeah. some really funny stuff. And yeah. they do it with very little resources. Which, yeah. you imagine if they actually had more, what they could do. And we've seen that with a lot of the social media people, you know. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Would you guys it's all ever... about finding the right kids, right? That, that's what it is. No, yeah. it is. That's like, exactly what it yeah. is. Yeah. Have you guys thought about like, collaborating again, like a podcast where you know, like, a, like, a tour, a stand-up tour, any, something. something like that? Yeah. Well, now we are. Yeah. <laughs> we have to. I just saw him this morning. Yeah, right. Now we're gonna. Yeah. Yeah. Now we're. You guys are we are officially chemistry. collaborating now. Yeah. yeah. All right. We're doing. We gotta it. bring Josh. We bring him on Game Shakers. That'd be fun. Yeah. yeah. I did. Uh, I did Put an episode of Sam and Cat last yeah. year with Dan. So yeah. Um, yeah. I'm. I'm always down to play and have fun with these guys. Fun, it just. It, it feels like a family stuff. You know. Yeah. Cool. But who are some of your favorite kid actors to work with? Um, the kids on Game Shakers. You saw that plug that I just <laughs> Shameless. <laughs> and I'm just going to say, I don't know those Game Shaker kids, but they seem great. <laughs> <laughs> That's a soundbite right there. Right? It's the only thing that's coming out of this. <laughs> I've literally oh, look, never seen it. Oh, look, she's right at that moment. <laughs> <laughs> so you are playing Game Shakers. So. <laughs> right, right. That was a it's shameless plug. It though. was, that's wasn't it? I just love that boom. Movie. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Oh. All right. Yeah. Are we, we're good. Oh, 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 oh